One thing I have always found really helpful with sewing is that my irons should have a stainless steel plate. Now I know there are the new types of irons which have very fancy um, non-stick plates and some of them are really good because it's ceramic. However, I find with pins and needles the old classic of stainless steel is the best. So I got really spoilt living in the UK because the voltage is twice, it's 220 rather than 110 or 240 rather than 120 depending on how you look at it. Um, and it takes a long time, 10 to 15 minutes for the steam generator to get warmed up. I realize that that sometimes is frustrating at the beginning. Once you're using the iron it matters not, it's really not a problem. However, I figured out that a real basic ancient trick of using a pressing cloth solves the wait period. So I just wetted this pressing cloth, rang it out. What I found is, <clears throat> while waiting for that, and this works with a dry iron as well, or if you just need to, to make it better, if you just put it underneath, so this steam is... It's a bit of steam, but it's not enough to use at the moment. It's not ready yet. However, if I iron with this pressing cloth, what happens is it creates the steam underneath. And it will. So this is synthetic, so it's really going to be a challenge no matter what. With cotton, you can turn up the, the temperature more. But I've got the iron on its low temperature, but it will still generate steam. But at least during this period of the no steam. It allows you to iron with steam gently and it, I found it works quite well. And you can just so you can see it's removing the creases. This fabric is a bit weird so it's going to look wrinkly even though it's it's smooth on the camera just it just because of the angle of the lights and stuff it looks a little strange but actually it is it has ironed out the creases so let me just show you the difference. So there's before and there's after. So that is smooth, it just doesn't look like it. So if I flip it over, it it's, might be more obvious that the ironed bit. And because it's on a low temperature, it won't damage the, uh, the uh, maybe acetate. I'm guessing it might be acetate or polyester, but I think it's acetate. It feels kind of strange. So it'll be better once I get the steam from the iron, but this is a really good measure I found helpful. And it works really well with cotton and linen because you can get even more steam out of that pressing cloth. This just takes longer. But the steam is starting to wake up now. There we go. So now I'll be able to use the full steam. So we're... we're so we've got the steam from the iron now. So I need to lower it a bit. So this iron's very good in that with synthetics, if you have too much steam, you can actually lower the steam setting a lot. So if it's too producing too much like it is there, so it, it the temperature of the iron can't reduce it. So you don't want too much. Oop. Huh. Maybe I did it the wrong way. Oh, that's min, so I can go down even more to the min setting so it doesn't produce wet steam because we don't want wet steam coming out. Oops, sorry. I need to flatten that out. Okay, well that's a bit of fun anyway pressing cloth. The old-fashioned pressing cloth still works. Works really well. You can see you can really get blasts of steam. So this, I love this iron, you know, I had one of these in the UK and it works very well here. It just takes longer to heat up. So when you're working with cotton and linen, this is a savior, but even here, because you're on a really low heat setting, you can still work with synthetics very effectively. And then I'll flip it over. 
So it's working. So you can see here the before and after. So this is good. Not quite perfect. I'll fix that. But this is the before. So it's, you know, working really well, the difference. But it is smooth. It just looks weird in the camera. It reflects off the light. Yeah, that makes it slightly more obvious what's ironed and what's not. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Bye for now.